this slab of stone will soon become a work of art. It's going to be part of the facade of Berlin's new city palace. Each blow of the mallet needs to be perfectly placed. First, I make guidance lines at a right angle. Then the surface ends up as a straight line in the end. These are the pedestals for the palace entrance. The stonemasonry company in Saxony employs 20 masons and stone carvers. They'll provide hundreds of stone blocks for the palace. Can you give me a grinder? Sven Schubert shows his apprentice how it's done. We're probably the last skilled craft where you can see your own final product in the end. Each block of sandstone has its assigned position in the facade. There's a schematic drawing hanging on the wall of the workshop. It shows what each finished block will look like and where it will be fixed. And this is the actual construction site where Berlin's city palace is taking shape. A carved block made by Schubert's stonemasons is being hoisted into place. It weighs nearly a ton and costs about 2,000 euros. About 15 meters of blocks are fixed in place each day. What is there about it that makes it so challenging? Well, it has to be perfectly positioned, and we can't bump into anything. It's very heavy and slow, and you don't want it to swing like a pendulum. Okay, another four millimeters. When it's done, the concrete structure will be clad with more than 20,000 square meters of sandstone and brick. The palace is scheduled for completion in 2018. Right now, they're working on a side entryway. Back in Dresden, Schubert's staff can follow the progress live via webcam. They use a computer to map out the original design. Then they use the computer to devise a 3D copy of the original stonework. The parameters are transmitted to a robot. The robot has been working on this piece three days nonstop. It would have taken a stonemason two weeks to make this. The best moment is when it's finally done. But getting there involves a lot of brutally hard work. But now we've got our one-armed bandit here who helps out. <laughs> they have several projects for the palace going simultaneously. The robot did the rough carving for this angel's wing, but the creative detail work has to be done by hand. Sculptor Ralph Knie will spend a week on the final carving. He makes sure that his recreated version matches the original. I take the measurements from a one-to-one -one plaster model with a compass and transfer it to stone here with my pencil. A raw slab like this one costs about a thousand euros. The slab gets divided up into big blocks for the stonemasons. We can also cut slices off the slabs using something much like a boiled egg cutter. These will get turned into columns for Berlin. The columns for the big entryway are just being completed. Schubert's company has been working on the Baroque portal for two years already. It will adorn the Berlin City Palace when it opens in 2018. For Schubert, one thing is clear, a project like this comes once in a lifetime.